John is back with me, John. I'm and staying and out booze. of that political debate. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just going to just drink a Prosecco. <laughs> just drink your Prosecco. Sorry. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Yeah, just keep, right. If in doubt, drink. Canopies. Now, these look beautiful. Mm. Absolutely well, gorgeous. The thing I love is, them. People panic about canopies and they think, oh, because they're so small and fiddly, they think, oh, I'm going to stress out yeah. and lose it at Christmas. But the thing is, these are quick and easy and so simple to make. And sure. you can, if, you don't make, if you don't make them for Christmas, make them for New Year. Oh, yeah, make, them just, make them whenever. Quite good so idea, I'm going to start that. off yeah. with referencing these ones here. These are the beetroot yes. and horseradish cream cheese. So it's just pumpernickel bread, which is a very dense, quite sweet rye. Right. And I've toasted that, cut it into cubes or squares. Did Martin Kemp tell you to toast it? Well, he might have done. <laughs> what a know-it-all. What a know-it-all. <laughs> And then I mix, I don't, don't mean that, Martin, if you listen, I mix some horseradish with cream cheese and pop that on and then some shop-bought beetroot. Not the vinegary stuff, you know, the backpack beetroot. Use right. that and a little okay. bit of parsley. Dead okay. simple. I may just take the beetroot off of that, because you know you're I'm not, not a huge not a fan, fan of beetroot. but that looks, it looks beautiful. It looks very Christmassy, well, I think. that's all that it's matters, because when you're drunk yeah. as well, it doesn't matter what it tastes like. <laughs> For the pork one, what I've got here is some pork mince, some parsley, some a few little breadcrumbs. Okay. I'm going to add some nutmeg to this as well. Ooh. So just a little grating of fresh nutmeg, because fresh nutmeg is always better than using that horrible, you know, that powdered stuff that yeah. tastes like you've been to a backstreet dentist. It just oh, yeah. sort of numbs the mouth. Okay. Not so good. Don't like that? So always okay. use fresh nutmeg. And what I've got here is some shallot, which I've just sweated down. You could use onion, and I've put some marsala wine in there. If you've not got marsala wine, don't rush out to get it. There's no point. Christmas is busy enough. Just use sherry, port, just anything. Whatever's alcohol. lying around. Bung it in. Vodka. Just put it in. Anything. Throw it in. Orange anything juice. Whatever you want. Throw right. it in. So, in with some onion, sweat it down, and you can season that if you want to as well. Bear in mind that pork mince needs quite a good amount of salt to bring it up and get it sure. going. So in with the uh, in with that, and you just bring this together into sort of a little. I'm just going to watch my chocolate because co chocolate burns very quickly, as you know. Yeah. Bring this together into like a stuffing. Basically, this is like a very impromptu stuffing. Oh, okay. The best kind of stuffing, if right. you ask me, an impromptu okay. one. Mm. So. Bring that together. And then what I've got here is just some prosciutto in a mini muffin cup. So I've just lined them with um, pieces of prosciutto or parma ham, whatever you've got, you could use shrinky idea. bacon. Sure. And all I'm gonna do is get my stuffing and shove it into these cavities. Now, if you don't have a mini muffin tin, these will bake in 10 to 12 minutes, so it's really quick. Right. But if you don't have a mini muffin tin, you could use um, a normal muffin tin and you'd have great big canapes. Big giant so ones. people with big mouths, that's for them. And okay. they, they'd bake about in about that 20 minutes. Good. So that's all you do, that's really simple. In the oven, and then when it comes out, you can get a little bit of that sage, fry that in a little bit of oil so it goes crispy. Oh, that's a good idea. And then just pop that on top like Sweet. that. Dead special, dead easy. So that's the, that's the two savoury one. Can I them, Yeah, grab one, grab one. They're really that's lovely. Right. Okay. Mm. And then, for something a little bit special for the sweet Oh, that's pay, good. It's nice, isn't mm. it? And, but simple and quick and easy, and that's the key oh, that's point. Because really mm. Christmas, it's stressful enough, isn't it, with all this expectation mm. of having to visit the relatives you don't even like, mm -hmm. you know, lost aunties who you don't even know the name, do you? Let's face it. So, what I'm going <laughs> to do now... Well, <laughs> the Grinch. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love Christmas, but I just hate all the rigmarole. No. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do now is a s'mores cup. So okay. you can get a marshmallow and make sure you don't buy marshmallows that have like special, especially for barbecue, just buy cheap, plain, pink and white marshmallows. Don't I get anything them. special. Mm -hmm. And all you do is you set them on fire. So you do need right, a gas okay. hob or a flamethrower for this. And obviously I don't need to say it twice. If kids are around, just mm. watch them carefully because for some reason kids feel the need to they do very dangerous things mm. a lot of the time, don't they? So all you do is you toast that, mm. let it cool for a second, mm -hmm. and then you, as you pull the fork out, after, after about 30 seconds of cooling, the middle will come out of the thingy. Oh, okay. Now you can use that as a shot glass, so fill it with some, some sort of liquor. But kid-friendly version is get okay. a little bit of, of chocolate. <laughs> just this pure. is all revolving around booze, just you do realise that. Just ethanol in there. <laughs> so put a bit of chocolate in the cup like that. Right. So you can use them as shot glasses or you can use them as canapes. So a bit of chocolate in the cup. How pretty And that then get a, crumb, a cookie and just crumble a cookie over the top. So it's like, an, again, an impromptu s'mores canapé. That's so cute. So, but so lovely. It's got all those flavours of the barbecue, mm. of, the, of the s'mores and the cookie and the chocolate. Really simple. But that's the thing. Canapes don't need to be difficult. They no, don't they need don't. to be painstaking. No, they don't. And you use shop-bought nice. rye bread, shop-bought pumpernickel, shop-bought bellini. Look at that. Look at that. Go, I think I'll go for a go for one as well. Mm. Oh, here. Oh, no, it's too early for me. I'll have it then. You have it. Second glass. That is so lovely. But simple. It's all sticky and gorgeous and brilliant. It's just mm. lovely, isn't it? Imagine that on New Year's Eve mm -mm -mm. with people that you love. Excellent. Simple. Thank you, Joan. Great. Merry Christmas. I'll be on the I'll be on the website, of course.